assured gender equality. There is Islam assured gender equality between men and women. We can see this in Quran 2, verse 2 to 8. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wala hunna, misla lesi alehinna. The what is on them, what is on them is to be on the other parties also. It is not meant if, if Allah if, if Allah enact a law on women, it is applicable to men also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes further uh, it's, uh, in, uh, in the case of inheritors. We see that uh, the, the way uh, things have been distributed is a bit biased, but it's meant uh, for a reasonable person we deduce that a woman will not end her life in her, in her father's house. She will automatically get married uh, with her husband. She cannot have full inheritance from her father's house and still have the noble inheritance. From her, from her husband's house. Is, that is why it, is, it, it was a bit biased in the Quran, and that is normal. In marriage, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave women, he eh, created men and women as company for each other. We are meant for ourselves. No one should be superior to each uh, offer, offer one another. Women have the right to knowledge, they have, they have the right to seek knowledge, women have the right to worship, women have the right. To, to, to choose residence. To write it up, Islam provides rights to men and women and to, to Muslim and non-Muslim. To minor among us, nobody is above anybody when it comes to the law of and when it comes to the right with Allah has bestowed to mankind. Subhanahu wa rabbi wa rabbi insa'atam yasifun wa salam ala musaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbala alameen.